I take screenshots professionally. On every daily basis, I take a lot of those screenshots. So finding a new tool that would do it for me in a most uh, appealing way is very, very important. So I do review uh, what's out there from time to time, trying to figure out maybe my tool is not as good as it used to be. So what do I do with my screenshots? I just capture them and put them into documentation on a website or be it a document or something. And I use it as a proof for anything. When I contact support, when I'm supporting other people on IT tools, I'm telling them, well, send me a screenshot of what you see. Don't describe it to me in words. There is no to, uh, need to interpret it because when I'm going to be dealing with a product that is broken, I'm going to be seeing what you see already. So why talk about it, right? So uh, in terms of the uh, screenshot tool itself, uh, we will initially configure it. And then we'll see how it actually does screenshotting and how editing is done, how the convenient the exporting is, how many options there are. Believe me, just saving as is not good enough, how fast it is, and some extra features if it has any to put it on a good footing with all of the others. And the tool is snap draw. Free. So this is a free version. And we'll see. Okay, so it opens this thing. I'm going to close it to see if it's still open here. Uh, yeah, it's still and it opens the image composer. Super nice. It has all of those lines, ellipses, shapes, and everything else. Uh, now we don't know what the restriction on a free tool. Uh, at the moment, maybe it has some kind of a, um, what's called watermarking or something. So first of all, we'll we'll do capture, um, well, uh, capture current desktop. No, transparent window. Capture object. Capture window. Where is the capture region? Uh, we don't know. So we'll go to toolbars, panels on capture settings. Add to image composer as the only image, add image to existing image composition. So you can uh, create multiple ones. Save to disk, uh, editable, okay, destination file, that's the screenshot. Save to disk. Okay, so it's either or. So save to disk, copy to clipboard, and then it would not go into the editor, but probably it will go into the browser, which is completely fine, depends on how we are doing. Okay, so that's one configuration that we need to take care about. Uh, capture screen is going to be now a digit two. Digit two and the art key, just because uh, you know, there is no need to uh, currently active uh, capture key activate alt shift to no just alt shift alt to okay so uh, usually we're not testing that with a um uh, with 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 a, a key because uh, we are in rdp so there is no need to do that okay and there is all of those nice things that we can do to our screenshot but that but first let's capture the screenshot and see what they mean by that Okay, so I'm going to run Alt 2. It removes the window and it tries to capture the whole window. So when you point to a corner over here, it captures it. And it also tells you that you can manipulate your computer using, uh, except the use of Enter and Escape key to, to capture the frame. Okay, so basically we select um, and we press Enter. And it just saved it on the hard drive, which is fine. And then go to Image Composer, and it opens the recent image. So let's make the window a little bit larger, and let's see what we can do with it. So uh, configuration, it actually, it actually has the FTP, email, SMTP, uh, capture key, window or object by MIOS Concert. Okay, so we have this uh, region, and we'll give it another try. So capture key, we, we set it up, we prime it initially to what it does. So there would be no different capture key for different objects. Okay, uh, fantastic. So now uh, there is our canvas. We can enlarge it a little bit. And uh, I don't know what it does. It's basically how the background looks like. 
And then we have this image crop, image selection. We can go to browse, and this is the uh, browsing in the file uh, setting. And this is how the final output, incremental autos. Are. So that's quite a lot, including copy to clipboard. So we do save as, do not show this message, resize. Okay, why do I need to resize? And then copy output to keyboard. Uh, why would it resize it? File incremental bitmap screen counter format PNG JPEG. Okay, so very not intuitive. Direct incremental. No. Okay, so the, uh, incremental. It's basically means the file name is going to be appended. Okay, and this is the save as, and this is the send to. While the final, why the final output is 600 uh, by uh, 480, I have no idea. Probably, maybe it is related to uh, the fact that we're using a free version. So the output is not great. We need to test it. We need to test this version. So, here is the scene. Oh, this is the output. Auto compute, scene size, watermark border rotation. So when we add the border, it adds a border. And then resizing, resize output image. Do not resize. Okay. So we configured only one. Only once we do not use uh, this. A watermark, margin, background. Rotation and reflection, that's quite a lot of functionality. So this software puts a lot on, of effort on designing uh, the, um, well, using tools. So basically we can take an arrow and now this arrow has reflection and span and size and the object itself. Can I, can I just make it bigger like this? Yes. Okay, and let's go to tool library and see what more. So those are the arrows. And the arrow can be configured somehow. I'm not sure about colors, but we don't see it. So this is a very complex software, by the way, if we compare it to anything else that we tested so far. So uh, definitely set size of thumbs, A to B. So there are lines and there are arrows, two-sided arrows. So instead of having a template that allows you to change the width, a shadow, and, and uh, arrow direction, we have a selection of all of them. So basically this, this, and this is the same object, right? And even this, it's just a variation that uh, was somehow saved over here. So we'll go to our rectangles actually, because we like rectangles. And we have the background. Oh, come on. Do we have a control Z to revert? Uh, there is no control Z to revert our latest edits. Okay, we are going to do that. And uh, basically you drag and drop it and resize it. Okay, and then you go to tool library and let's say you want a frame. Is it a transparent frame? We are going to find out. It is a transparent frame. Can it be opaque? Image crop to object, scale, individual rotation. At least it can be rotated. Reflection gap, reflection span. I don't know what all of those words mean. But we cannot put opacity. So if you want a background, that's not the right tool. Maybe we have one of those here, or do you need to overlay them? So instead of having a radius, we have an object with a radius. Uh, of the corners and then the tool itself, nothing to do with the tool. Shapes, so you can drag a clip art item over here. Text, there are two text sizes. You need to resize them. So instead of controlling the size of the text on the inside, you just uh, control it in a, uh, then you apply it 
okay uh, well i understand controlling and applying but i cannot choose the font and i i cannot do many many things over here that's uh, very weird let's see the call outs the call outs is kind of sticker so it looks like uh, software from the 90s i mean i saw something like that in corel draw or something you know and we have the call out object that needs to be resized uh, can it be resized? I don't even know. That's the call out. I need to select it and I uh, I cannot resize it. Object dimensions 100 to 100. And what it means, it doesn't mean anything. It just doesn't do anything. Numberings. Can I automatically number uh, one? To, okay, so every time I drag it appends a new number and if I change the color it keeps the same number uh, Well, it, it it appends a new number. So that's logical. There is quite a lot of, uh, of This but how do I resize it? Walk object move down send to back That is so unintuitive That is so unintuitive what this uh, those are tools or something. What can I do? This is a zoom in and this is a zoom out or something. I'm not even sure what I did and how to go back. Oh, this is the zoom. Okay. This is the zoom fit. Okay. So what it does, you can add an image into it. And now we have a an arrow which we can actually pre-design, right, and keep in the library. So basically, if you have a preset, you keep it in the library. So add to library and only. Uh, okay, well that is very weird. Shadow. So this is the settings that you can do. And this is the text color and font that you can use and change and you add it to uh, the library somehow. Magnifiers, what they do, they magnify just a little bit. The magnifiers magnify, who knew that? uh okay so this is everything though so the editor i i have no idea where it goes i mean we are in a very long video already and it just whoa it's just uh not doing anything for us oh and also when it tries to capture it still allows you controlling the the tools so capture uh, opening image composer i don't want it i want to go with out too Sorry, without two. And can I capture region? Out two. No, I cannot. It opens the image composer, it loads it every single time. Window, transparent window with shadow. Okay. Out two, transparent window with shadow. What it means, I have no idea. Transparent window with shadow. So basically, we cannot capture anything. That's that's that is amazing. Monitor. So basically, we will go with the monitor with with the window capture, and then we would edit the hell out of it, and then we will have a screenshot at the end of it. So if we have all those editing tools, that are, I don't I don't know what they are for. I mean, oh, look at the complexity of that thing. And they have a library and objects that are saved but cannot be edited later. And all of those types that need to be selected manually uh, uh, before you are able to apply it. So multiple clicks. And there are no extra features. So initial configuration, it's fast and useless. What for? <laughs> Capturing screenshots. It can capture in the windows, full screens, and some kind of transparent thing that and, and adding screenshot to screenshot it's like what editing is super complex i mean it's so complex that most of the video was spent in the window of uh, of the editor 
and for no good reason at all because the editor looks like it's like it's coral draw from the 90s i remember vaguely when i saw this software for the first time it looks like this it, this is how people used to do stuff in the past you know I, I, what is it what who is it for why resize the final image and and the, Decide on it right from the get-go and uh, have the tools designer. Uh, it's like, what is that? What What is that? A tool designer, but for basic editing, it's like, you know, text, change font, color, shade, maybe add angle to it, and that's it. No need to save it. Ah, oh, wow, that is so amazing. Exporting, well, exporting, there are some options, of course, the clipboard itself. The speed, there is no speed. This is this thing has negative speed. You can capture the screenshot in one second, but if you want to put something on top of it uh, and, and export it, you would be dealing a lot with some GUI that does it for you. I mean, I, mean, I, I would prefer to use paint rather than learning this tool from scratch, because why? Why settle on styles? What if I want to change the style for everything that I'm using? What, I need to copy-paste every single tool here before I switch to style? What if I, I, I don't even know. There are no extra features in this software at all, just simply at all. So I am not convinced. I would not use it for anything. I don't know, snap, draw, freeze. 320 what are you for i don't know snap draw is there like snap draw um snap files is there like snap snap draw when was it released 2011 okay snap draw but it has only a 320 oh come on so basically, okay, download snap draw, find my soft. Okay, well, my friends, we have been fooled. This is what happened. Snap, snap draw is a uh, product of its time. Yeah, it sucks and it's old and it's not developed anymore. And it's probably inheriting a lot of packages from the 90s anyway. And uh, for some reason, when those content aggregation sites provide a list of items and i use the top free screen capture screenshot software in the world kind of thing from 2021 and uh snap draw appeared over there we have been fooled so the verification that i did right now they were when i actually bothered at the end of the review to see where it is um and then we found that this thing is no longer relevant. It's so irrelevant that I would just say, do not use it. There is no need to use a 10 year old software that doesn't get any updates. So this concludes the video because basically uh, SnapDraw is not a tool that is current and we cannot use it. So uh, I'll see you in the next.